All right, hey, it's Nope N. And this video is going to be about how I'm currently living with two cats now. My partner has adopted, and technically one of the cats is under my name, so I guess it's my kid. They're a couple months old. We got them from a place called No Kill LA, and the shelter is basically trying to not kill any of the animals that come through. I think some shelters, if the animal's there for too long, then they put them down. I'm not really sure. It's actually a really, really nice place. Very warm and, and welcoming. I've only, I think, been to another shelter, which was in the Bay Area. And although it's very bright and clean, this one seemed more like you're going to somebody's house to adopt. Um, at least that's how the front kind of looks like and then towards the back where they have all the animals it's a little bit different and I also like how they incorporate I guess technology because they have like these photo shoots for the animals they have the pictures of the animals but they look pretty like professional photos and they have this little room for the kittens and we went to go check the kittens out and when picked one of the cats but then we were also thinking like the cat's gonna be lonely so the next day we went back and adopted another one their original names were asteroid and astronaut oh my gosh the kittens were just so the cats were just so cute they were just so small and they've grown and they're still continuing to grow the first night you know like the cats are kind of scared and they're like getting used to their environment but the second night when we got the newer cat which was my cat, it threw up on my leg and I think it was because we fed it and then we played with it a lot and then it's like in a new place so it just threw up. But the cats have been good, no more throw up, maybe a little bit of pee around the house but not so much now. The kitty litter that we use and I found that I somewhat enjoy this kitty litter process. Kitty litter that we use is non-clumping so it actually comes in clumps and then when it gets in contact with water then it turns into dust and, and then by raking it back and forth it falls through the holes of the kitty litter box and at the end you kind of just take out all of the dust at the bottom put it into the garbage can because that's the pee. <laughs> That's the pee dust. And with the poop, dude, like how can such small little animals have such stinky poop? But we have two litter boxes for them. And it seems like every week there is a new toy because their dad is very, very, loves them a lot and wants to buy toys for them. We also bought these harnesses for the cats and we have leashes, but it's somewhat like, stressful to always like need to take the cats out like walking a dog and walking a cat is different because cats don't really walk they kind of just stay in one spot and sniff around like the most they've done is just gone around the front yard i am sometimes lazy and i just want to let them do their thing but the thing is that their leash kind of gets tangled the cats used to run out a lot and that was nerve-wracking because it's just like oh my gosh if they run away then that really sucks but we've kept them inside now and we're not gonna let them out anymore and I think they've been pretty good their names now are Chuok which means mouse and Thumb which means shrimp so we have two cats named shrimp and shrimp and mouse and we'll see how it goes